So, welcome back. This is Brian Orlas and Cordova. So, itutuloy natin yung discussion about double integrals. But now, meron na tayong polar coordinates. Double integrals in polar coordinates. So, we can recall that we can change from a rectangular coordinates to polar coordinates. So, yung relationship between the polar and rectangular coordinates ay uh, given by this equation. So, yung uh, Pythagorean triples. So, yung radius is actually the hypotenuse of a triangle inside a unit circle. The x and y are the two legs of the right triangle. And yung x is equal to r cosine theta and y is equal to sine or r sine theta. So, in graph, given a point on the rectangular coordinates, so ang point niya is x and y. Now, equal siya sa point where yung ordered pair natin is radius and a theta or yung angle of uh, inclination niya. So, that is the direct distance from the origin up to the point, yung radius. And yung theta is the angle from the positive x-axis hanggang dun sa line of uh, radius. So, given an example, so... Letter A, meron tayong re, uh, region which is uh, bounded by the unit circle x squared plus y squared is equal to 1. So, ang kanyang radius ay 1 lang. So, all points inside this region is evaluated na yung r ay from 0 to 1. So, from the origin up to the radius of 1. And yung angle is from the positive x-axis. And going back to positive x-axis. So, complete one rotation. So, 0 hanggang 2 pi. Another example is half of a circular ring. Na yung inner radius is 1 or yung unit circle. And yung outer radius is equal to 2. So, itong 4 na to is 2 squared. Okay. So, ang kanyang radius is evaluated from 1 hanggang 2. And yung angle is half lang, so 180 degrees, from 0, positive x-axis, hanggang negative x-axis, so hanggang pi lang. So, complete rotation is 2 pi and uh, 180 degrees is pi radians. Original is a polar rectangle. So, kagaya ng ginawa natin sa rectangular region, so, kukuha tayo ng uh, piraso lang ng circular ring. So, ang kanyang radius is from radius is equal to A up to radius is equal to B. Then, the angle is from alpha to beta. So, it is an special case of a polar rectangle na bounded sa ating radius from A to B. So, yung layo niya from the origin is from A to B lang. And yung central angle is uh, bounded by, by alpha and beta. So, to compute the double integral of a given function defined on this region, so, i-divide natin yung close interval into m sub-intervals of equal width. So, yun yung ating delta r. So, divide lang natin yung distance ng uh, alpha to beta into m subdivisions and divide the interval alpha to beta in m subintervals of equal width. So, yun naman yung delta theta. Okay, so increment of the central angle. So, kung kukunin natin yung region na yan, isa subdivide natin into its uh, polar subrectangles. So, given one of the polar subrectangles, r sub ij. So, yung region na yun is just bounded from r sub i minus 1 hanggang r sub i. And bounded yung central angle from theta sub j minus 1 up to theta sub j. And meron siyang coordinates of the center, r sub i theta sub j with asterisk. Na yung values nila is just... Uh, average center noong mga values. Okay? 
So we can recall that area of a sector of a circle is one half r squared theta. We can recall that the area of a sector in a circle is one half r squared theta, where you own radius is r and the theta is the central angle. So example, ayan. So it is a sector. So given that yung sa ating polar sa rectangle, ang ating central angle is delta theta. So to get the area of a sub rectangle or polar sub rectangle, so subtract natin yung area na ang complete sector minus the smaller sector. So that's why yung ating r sub i minus yung sector with r sub i minus 1. Okay? Times, siyempre yung uh, kanyang width, which is delta theta. Which is equal to, so factoring out 1 half and delta theta. So, r sub i squared minus r sub i minus 1 squared. So, we can factor this out. So, and siya, sum and difference. Now, this sum is actually multiplied by 1 half is r sub i asterisk. And ito namang r sub i minus r sub i minus 1 is delta r. So given that the increment of the area is equal to r sub i delta r delta theta, we can get the double integral in polar form. So yung ito total natin, yung volume ng bawat solid with the basis area of the sub in sub rectangles times the height of the solids so yung function natin where yung x and y natin are r sub i cosine theta and r sub i sine theta sub j okay so yung function natin is the height of the 3d solid and yung delta A sub i is the area of the base. So getting the total, we, we can get the approximated volume of the solid with the base polar rectangle. Okay? So yung delta A natin is equal to R sub i delta R delta theta. And if we write of r theta equal dun sa ating uh, r sub i tsaka f of r sub i cosine theta r sub i sine theta then the Riemann sum can be rewritten as the double sum of g of r theta delta r delta theta which is equal to the double integral of the function g dr d theta, where yung radius is evaluated from uh, a to b. So, yan. And yung theta is from alpha to beta. So, therefore, the double integral of any given function, uh, which is actually the limit of this uh, double summation, or this Riemann sum, which is, in the end, equal to the double integral of the given function g of r theta dr d theta. Then, since you own ating g of r theta is equal to rf cosine theta r sine theta. So, and substitute back. And now, the double integral of the given function with the domain region r is equal to and a polar form with the iteration of the radius and theta. Okay? So, wag lang natin kakalimutan na may na multiply pang r dito. So, hindi lang siya dy dx, kundi r dr d theta. Okay? So, as long as yung radius natin is from 0 and greater than, uh, greater than a, and less than b. And yung theta is from alpha to beta. So that is the central angle. And yung central angle natin is from 0 to a complete rotation 2 pi. Example. 
Let's evaluate the double integral of tx plus 4y squared dA, where yung r is the region in the upper half plane bounded by the circles x squared plus y squared equal to 1 and x squared plus y squared is equal to 4. So yun yung given natin kanina na yung half circular ring since sinabi upper half lang. So yung region is bounded kung ito ay rectangular region. So yung y natin is positive lang. So from 0 to positive y since upper half and yung ating x is bounded inside the radius 1 and the radius 2, which is yung sakop ng ating semicircle. So in polar coordinates, that would be r theta and bounded from radius 1 to 2. And yung angle natin is from 0 to pi. So changing the double integral into a polar form. So we have delta A, meaning the area is R D R D theta, and yung x natin is R cosine theta, and yung y natin ay, since y squared yun, we have R squared sine squared theta, and yung ating radius is from 1 to 2, and yung theta is from 0 to pi. So yan yung graph natin kanina. So, distributing r sa loob, so we have 3r squared cosine theta and 4r cubed and squared theta. Then, evaluating the inner integral, meron na tayong r cubed cosine theta. So, nawala yung 3 because nag-divide pa tayo ng uh, 3. Then, r to the 4th, same with 4 dito, sine squared theta. And yung R natin is evaluated from 1 to 2. So then substituting the values of R, we have 2. Okay. 2R cubed, uh, 2 cubed cosine theta plus 2 to the fourth sine squared theta minus, since 1 na lang yan, we have 1 ang value ng R cubed. So minus cosine theta minus R to the fourth is 1 then, so sine squared theta d theta. 2 cube is 8 minus 1 cosine theta. So we have 7 cosine theta and 2 to the 4th is 16 sine squared theta minus 1 sine theta. Sine squared theta is 15 sine squared theta d theta. Then to simplify sine squared theta, we have 1 minus uh, 2 theta. So yung ating uh, half value theta, so 1 half 1 minus cosine squared theta. So, para mas madaling i-evaluate yung outer integral. So, getting the integral cosine 7 cosine theta is 7 sine theta plus 15 over 2 times 1, we have 15 theta over 2 minus 15 over 2 cosine 2 theta is 15 over 4 because yung 2 theta natin dito is mayro pang factor na 1 half. So, multiplied sa denominator. So, then yung cosine theta or cosine 2 theta is, is positive sine 2 theta. And theta is from 0 to pi. Substituting, then we will have a 15 pi over 2 na volume. Okay? So, we have 15 pi over 2 cubic units. Yung yung ating uh, double integral ng given function. Another example, find the volume of the solid bounded by the plane z is equal to 0 and the paraboloid z is equal to 1 minus x squared minus y squared. So that is a dome, dome shaped figure. So z is equal to 0 is actually the xy plane and yung paraboloid is yung pinaka-covering natin. So, pinaka-dome. So, if z is equal to 0, then the equation of the paraboloid, we get x squared plus y squared is equal to 1, which is yung base natin sa xy plane, which is a unit circle. So, kung yung ating region na base is given by d, so r theta is evaluated from 0 to 1, since unit circle lang siya, from the origin to the radius 1. 
and yung inner and yung central angle natin is from 0 to 2 pi since complete rotation since 1 minus x squared minus y squared which is the value of z is equal to 1 minus r squared para sa polar so the volume of the solid is the double integral of the function times dA on d which can be changed into a polar form double integral of 1 minus r squared r d r d theta where your radius is from 0 to 1 and theta is from 0 to 2 pi then simplifying this double integral since so yung mga factors natin ay can be separable into r and theta only so d theta lagyan na natin sa integral evaluating the theta and yung r is distributed dun sa 1 minus r squared so we have r minus r cubed dr so evaluating separately yung mga integrals so d theta integral of d theta is theta from 0 to 2 pi so 2 pi times the integral of r minus r cubed is r squared over 2 minus r to the fourth over 4 Evaluated from 0 to 1 by substituting the values of 1, we have pi over 2 only. So this is the volume of the uh, 3D solid bounded by the xy plane or z is equal to 0 and the paraboloid z is equal to 1 minus x squared minus y squared. So in general, the polar region, if the function f is continuous on a polar region of the form the polar region natin is the domain of the function where r theta yung polar restrictions so yung theta natin or central angle is from alpha to beta and yung r natin is from between two functions h sub 1 of theta up to h sub 2 of theta meaning functions of the angle so without giving the uh, ex exact measure of radius, okay, then the double integral of the given function over region D is the double integral of the function is the double integral of f of r cosine theta, r sine theta, r d r d theta, where yung r is evaluated from h sub 1 theta, h sub 2 theta, and yung angle is from alpha to beta. So that means yung ating uh, radius is generally uh, unequal. So hindi siya circular in shape. Okay. And yung other one is ganun din. So yung radius natin is in general form identified by uh, functions of the angle. Okay. Example, find the volume of the solid that lies under the paraboloid is equal to x squared plus y squared above the xy plane and inside the cylinder x squared plus y squared is equal to 2x. So, ito yung figure. So, given a paraboloid, so yung z is equal to x squared plus y squared is yung paraboloid na parang cup na nakatayo. And yung xy plane is the base. And inside the cylinder, yung x squared plus y squared is equal to 2x. The solid is above the disk D, whose boundary is a circle, x squared plus y squared is equal to 2x. So kapag kinuha natin yung equation of a circle, we have x squared minus 2y plus y squared is equal to 0. So the center of the circle is at x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 0. This equation can be changed into a polar form where yung x natin is r cosine theta minus 1 quantity squared plus y is r sine theta quantity squared is equal to 1. Expand lang natin r squared cosine squared theta minus 2 r cosine theta plus 1 plus r squared sine squared theta is equal to 1. We can cancel this out so this will become equal to 0 and sine theta is equal to 1 minus cosine squared theta so Pythagorean identity 
Okay, then distribute r squared. So we have r squared minus r squared quotient squared theta is equal to zero. So we can cancel this out. So matitra is r squared is equal to 2r cosine theta. Dividing both sides by r, r is equal to 2 cosine theta. Then the region D is given by these restrictions. So ang um, coordinate na niya is r theta. So yung r natin is from 0 to 2 cosine theta. So given by that. So theta is from negative pi over 2. Since ang mula siya sa negative y axis and positive pi over 2 hanggang dun siya sa positive y axis. So from negative pi over 2 up to positive pi over 2. So yun yung D natin, bounded. So the volume of the solid is the double integral of z which is x squared plus y squared dA on the region D which is equal to double integral of r squared since etong z natin ay equal sa r squared so yung Pythagorean triples natin so r squared lang siya times yung dA r dr d theta where yung r is from 0 to 2 cosine theta and the theta is from negative pi over 2 up to pi over 2. So, evaluating the inner integral, we have so r cube magiging r to the fourth over 4 from 0 to cosine theta. Then, substituting the values of the radius, so 2 cosine theta would be uh, 16 cosine to the fourth theta. So, 16 over 4 is 4. So, labas na natin yung constant multiple. Cosine to the fourth theta na lang, d theta, then the limits of uh, theta is from negative pi over 2 up to pi over 2. So, rather than taking the uh, negative limits, kunin na lang natin is uh, half niya para mag 0. So, dodoblihin natin yung area na kukunin natin from 0. So, twice that. So, mayroon tayong 8 the integral of cosine to the fourth theta d theta from 0 to pi over 2. Okay, then simplify. Cosine to the fourth is equal to 1 plus cosine squared theta over 2, which is yung cosine squared theta. Then quantity squared para dun sa to the fourth. So expanding the square. So we have 1 plus 2 cosine 2 theta plus 1 half 1 plus cosine 2 the 4. Cosine 4 theta. Then yung 2 run is in squared. So maging 4, 8 over 4 is 2 na lang. Okay. Then evaluating the last integral. We have 3 half. <clears throat> we have 1 plus 1 half is 3 halves. Theta plus sine 2 theta. Because of the 2 cosine theta plus cosine to the cosine 4 theta is 1 8 sine 4 theta. So substitute theta by from 0 to pi over 2, which is equal to 2 times 3 over 2 times pi over 2. So the volume of the solid is 3 pi over 2 cubic units. So next topic is the application of double integrals. So in especially physics and other applications. So see you on another lesson.